The next gram right. is CCO4. carbon tetrachloride. Hey, it's raining outside. Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't need moisture. Hey, carbon. Let's look at carbon on the periodic table. Carbon is element and column four here. And then uh, chlorine is seven. So we had a four and a seven. So carbon gets four. All right. And chlorine gets seven and there's four times of them. four. So seven times seven four is 28. 28. And four is a 32. 32. Two. So the central atom in this would be carbon. So I'm going to find four chlorines. On the outside. So what's the first step? Um, or, draw a bond step? between them all. Two, four, six, eight. Hey, by the way, carbon. He's happy already. He's got eight. Carbon's good. So if we can make chlorine happy, we're happy. we're good to go, right? Yep. So? 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. 32. Okay. We're good. Everybody's happy. Each chlorine has eight. Carbon has eight. Everyone's happy. Sulfur dioxide. All right, let's so, go. All right, sulfur is right here in oxygen, uh -huh. and oxygen. Oh, hey, oh, they right. all have so six. Six is the number. Okay, so, so we've sulfur got has six. Six plus uh, six times two. Six times two. So that's eighteen. That's just eighteen. All right. So sulfur is in the middle. Oxygens are on the outside. Okay, so we need a bond from the oxygens to the two, sulfur. Four. Okay. Now we go to the outside. Yep. Right? Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Ten. ten. Okay. He's happy there because he's yep. got eight. 12, 12, right? Yep, 14, 14, 16. 16. And then the extra one's going on the? Central. So central. 18. 18. All right, so our oxygens are, he's got eight. Yep. This oxygen has eight. Eight. And this sulfur has, sulfur has six. six. Oh, bummer. I thought we could get eight. eight. Oh, it didn't work. Nope. So hmm. what's our rule? If one, if one of them doesn't have enough, what do we have to do? Hey, we haven't actually used rule number five. All right. Redistribute electrons by making double or triple bonds if necessary to fulfill the octet rule. Uh, I think this might That's, be necessary. This is necessary. Yeah. So, folks, the way to do this is you have to take a look at one of the oxygens. It doesn't really matter. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a, you know, take these two electrons. Instead of making them a unshared pair, we can erase them and put a double bond here. All right, so we just took those two electrons, and those two electrons that were not bonded are now bonded. the bond. So sulfur dioxide has a double bond and a single bond. Mm -hmm. Could so I have taken two from the other oxygen instead? Yes, yeah, so and it could would also have been the written same thing? simply like this, like, like that, with the appropriate number of electrons. It wouldn't matter which way you drew it. Okay. Okay. Good enough. The next one's an ion. Two more examples, Mr. Sams. Nitrogen, N2. Nitrogen gas. You're breathing it all the time. Your body doesn't use it, but there's nitrogen. Hey, he's five. Okay. And it's N2, so it's five and five. So that's our two ten. times five. We got ten. So we've got N. Bonded. Bonded to, to N. N. All right, so we start with the bond. Two. Two. Four. four six, six. Eight. Eight. Ten. Ten. So the oh. one on the right's happy, but the one on the left is not. He's happy. Yay. Hmm, but this nitrogen is happy. Well, again, when we, when we run out of space, what do we do? We steal two and make it into two. a bond. So, so let's take those two, two. And they're gone. They don't exist now. We've got a double bond. Okay. Now the guy on the left is six. Yeah. It's not good. Nope. So let's take two more. Ah, hey, that's a triple bond. All right. Can, we, can you redraw that for me? So yeah, so it's not so confusing. It's yeah. N, triple bond N, and each of these would then have a pair of electrons, unshared pairs on the other side. All right. So that's the answer for nitrogen. Okay. Good let's enough. do one more, Mr. Sam. All righty. It is a little bit complex. Hey, look, there's a charge on there. This one has a charge, and we haven't really learned too much about the names of these, or maybe we have. It depends on how our order we do this here. But this negative charge indicates it has an extra electron. An extra electron. So when we count the valence electrons, we have to include an extra one in there. Right, so, so let's look at N nitrogen. O. N is 5, and O is 6. Okay. So this will be five, 5. 5 plus 3 times 6 plus, plus the 1. one. Okay. This adds one. If that was a minus two, we would get two more. Two more. And if it was positive one, you would subtract, subtract one. one. Right. Yeah. So this is 18, 19, and 5, 24. 24. So we got 24 to spin. Okay, so nitrogen looks like it'll go in the middle. Yeah, nitrogen's your middle. So it's by itself, and then We've oxygen's three around. O's. All right, so let's bond. spin. Two, four, six. Okay. Eight, eight 10, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 18 20, 20, 22, 24. All the, all the oxidants are happy, but, but the nitrogen, nitrogen is, is not. So, so just steal two. doesn't matter which two. Psh, everybody's happy. Everyone's happy. Now, now well, one other thing is whenever you have an ion, put it in brackets. Because you need to indicate that this has an overall charge of negative one. one. So if it's an ion, put it in brackets and write the charge in the outside of the brackets. 
indicating yeah. that the entire thing carries a charge of minus one. Which means one extra electron. Yeah, that's it. So that's how you draw Lewis structures for covalent compounds. Yep, and you'll get lots. Non-metal to non-metal. It's different from metal to non-metal. That's where you got to show arrows and right. dots. Yeah, and this, stuff. you'll get lots of practice.